Hey guys, the iPhone 11 series just came out and one of the main features that everyone's talking about are the cameras. But before you go snapping away with your new phone, here are 5 iPhone 11 camera tips. <laughs> Tip number 1. The new ultra-wide angle lens is great for cool perspectives, but it's the camera with the smallest aperture at f2.4. You should only really use it when you absolutely need the wider field of view. Otherwise, the main wide angle camera will give you better results indoors or during low light situations. Tip number two! Previously, unless you were on the 10R, you could only do portrait mode with the telephoto camera. With the iPhone 11, you can use the main wide angle camera for portraits as well. You won't get as dramatic a shot, but your photos should look a tad bit sharper, especially in low light thanks to the wider aperture. Tip number three. All right, so if you're holding the phone vertically when taking a selfie, it's gonna shoot in seven megapixels, like this. But if you press the expand button here, it's gonna use the full 12 megapixel sensor. You can also, Rotate the phone horizontally and you will zoom out to the wider field of view, assuming you want more people in the frame. Tip number four. Swiping allows you to bring up all sorts of features tucked away in the new camera interface. Swiping up on the viewfinder shows settings like the aspect ratio, timer and filters. You can tap the shutter button and slide it to the right to do a quick take video. You can also take photos with the shutter button here. You can also do quick take videos by holding down the shutter button, which is where burst mode used to be. To take burst shots now, you have to swipe the shutter button to the left if you're holding the phone vertically or down if you're holding the phone horizontally. Just hold down the button for as many shots as you like. Easy. Tip number five. The iPhone 11 now has a night mode. And the best part is, it's mostly automatic. When you're in a less than ideal lighting situation, the night mode symbol will pop up, letting you know how long of an exposure it'll take. You can also tap on the icon and manually select how long you want the exposure to be. Alright, those are just some of the features of the new iPhone 11's camera and there's a whole lot more that we didn't cover. Let us know what features you want to see in our next video and as always, like, share and subscribe. Bye!